Hello everyone. Good night. This is Kishai here. It's the first of the month. Happy April to everybody. I haven't done a blog in about a month. Uh, so I just wanted to update you guys on a few things that have been going on. Uh, my glasses broke. You know, it's funny. These are my third pair of glasses. I first started wearing glasses in 2004 and I broke I sat on one pair and then I lost another pair at a soccer match so um, I had I, I had these from October and um, I don't even know where they are right now but these like these are my sunglasses here the the part of this part right here on my glasses broke off and I put a little tape on it tried to salvage it but it just kept getting in the way and every time I would hug somebody or sit down it would like fall off my face so I just I'm, I'm gonna get some new glasses this week um, I've been working and as many of you know I've been working full-time and every week my schedule is different and this job's completely different from the last one besides the hours and the better pay you have to work and showing up alone is is only half the battle I realize that I do have to prove myself I do have to prove that I'm willing and ready to work I don't just wanna be doing something for the hell of it and just going through the motions I started working full-time because of the opportunities to improve and advance I don't wanna be stuck in the same position and I don't want to settle and I wanna utilize my potential just like in the last video talked about unlimited potential it's very important to me because I know I can do it I just have to show it through action because I do believe in myself but believing in myself and knowing that I'm a good person isn't good enough because a not so good person could easily do the same job I'm doing and do it better and um, I am learning a lot about patience about being a professional and separating that from the personal and just being more efficient and really understanding the environment I'm in and learning to adapt I can still be myself but I have to be aware of those around me and I do have to keep on standing up for myself and being more vocal because you know, people always judge a book by its cover and they always assume that I'm timid or I'm a pushover and uh, I'm far from that you know but everyone is different and you know, as for how I deal with uh, the hustle and bustle of work, I always have play. I go to the beach, I go to the gym, Zumba class, hip hop class, um, you know, I do my videos and I will be returning to Kung Fu. I made a little visit last week and it was just nice to see everybody. I miss them so much and I can't wait to go back, learn everything over again and make this thing happen you know I'm also still very much a part of SunServe and the M project two very great organizations outlets for those who need support who would like to just go somewhere and talk and do so many different things with the community and just I think it's very important no matter who you are or where you're from be a part of some organizations or some groups make a difference just have that solid foundation socially and um, you know from these groups I'm definitely learning to live in the present I've had an issue where I over plan and overthink and try so hard to have control over everything I do and I'm now realizing that with all that expectation and with comes a lot of limitation and a lot of disappointment so rather than over planning everything planning every day I mean I have I, I had four planners at one time and I would write down everything I wanted to do what time I wanted to do it how I wanted to do it I've stopped all of that ever since and I live each day in the present and I enjoy each day more I appreciate life much more and um, my cousin Amber was visiting from Colorado and I randomly Monday last week Monday I randomly took her to Udipi cafe which is my favorite restaurant a vegetarian Indian restaurant and then the next day we went to South Beach and we both love South Beach, South Beach. that's our future home I'm so excited 
um, that I got the chance to just lay down on the beach. I fell asleep on the beach, you know, in the middle of the day, just relaxing, just really basking in the sun and soaking it up and shopping. I've never really shopped on South Beach before. I never really ate on South Beach before. I just go to the clubs, you know, and, you know, Miami Beach is definitely my future home. It's definitely Amber. Amber's also going to live there, too. And, um, you know, this this last week, two weeks, three weeks have been such great learning lessons for myself. I'm only 23 years old. I'm still very young and I have a long way to go. And I'm uh, I'm definitely not taking anything for granted in my life right now. I'm taking it step by step. And uh, I'm now just preparing for this upcoming Saturday. I am competing in the Bollywood Chutney Dance Competition. It's taking place April 7th at 7.30 in Pembroke Pines at the Walter C. Young Center. Now, those of you who want to come through and support myself and all the great dancers, it's $20 each. I am selling tickets, so if you would like tickets, let me know. And it's going to be a great evening of fun. I know I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm dancing to Gazub from the movie Ah uh, Deke Zara, and I... I'm just looking forward to tearing that place up, you know, getting my costume together, putting the finishing touches on the choreography, and inviting as many people as you can. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys with a video clip of my trip to Miami Beach. So, love you guys. Enjoy. Enjoy.